What a drag it is getting old. Now, I thought about this a lot yesterday. And I, I've, I've been, you know, I've had a few years to see it. And what, do I, what am I talking about? Where your heroes are all dying or getting old and retiring or go, going up on stage and embarrassing themselves. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, let's, let's take... Let's take David Lee Roth, for example. What an enigmatic, charismatic frontman and showman that guy was in his prime. You know, the reality versus the fantasy are two different things in the music business. Now, the fantasy is David Lee Roth in his prime with his flowing locks of hair and his uh, videos filled with girls and, you know, this dream of this, you know, amazing lifestyle and, you know, living in the life in the fast lane and living La Vida Loca and, you know, all of that. This is what, you know, I was drawn to as a kid. You know, whether it was Elvis with all of his cars and all the women in his in his movies and, you know, thinking, hearing and seeing him on stage and the screams of the adoring fans. And it's really easy for a kid to see all that and go, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. Because you're only seeing the dream, you're not seeing the reality, you're only seeing the fantasy, and you're not seeing the end result. Now, it's probably the same for a young girl right now, you know, seeing Taylor Swift or Billie Eilish or, you know, Beyonce or, you know, whoever, whoever is popular now. And I can't really think of any rock stars because I don't feel like there really are any anymore. Um, you know, you had Post Malone a few, you know, years ago. Uh, and now it seems like he's gone country. And I don't, when I see Post Malone, I saw that clip of him, you know, playing those country songs in that, uh, you know, Nashville studio with A-list session guys. Um, I see a guy deep in his cups. He's chain smoking in a studio when, um, you know, smoking is not allowed, um, in, in those studios anymore. He's chain smoking, probably having a drink. Um, it, it, it's not, it's not the same image of a, say, comeback era Elvis with the, you know, clean cut face and, and still, you know, showing youth and still showing virility. It's not the same. I don't know. I don't know that there are really any rock stars anymore. Yeah, there are some rock bands and, you know, there's stuff out there people are going to, but the iconic images, the, you know, Mick Jagger may be the last one we ever really see who, you know, he's what, 81 years old and he's prancing around and, you know, he's, he's, he's singing, you know, in a similar style that he did, you know, many decades before. And, you know, Mick Jagger's thing was never about, you know, pitch perfect vocals. It was more about the delivery and the attitude behind what he was singing but he is not, um, you know, what one would consider a great vocalist. He's a great vocal stylist. And he is, he is the only one that is really still out there doing it. Yes, there are. There's a, you know, and I'm sure in the comments, people will let me know, well, so-and-so is, is this age and he's, 
he sounds great. I'm sure there's there's other guys out there, but I'm just talking in the big picture. You know, David Lee Roth's vocals got so bad, you know, towards the end, and that's when he was kind of seemed like almost his hand was forced to retire. And I, there's no doubt that somebody would have, you know, still paid him to play somewhere, and I think people would have still bought tickets, but. You know, it is a perfect example of when fantasy meets reality. You know, David Lee Roth now is uh, still single at his advanced age. And he's got to be, he's got to be close to 70 if he's not already. And now he is, uh, you know, he's alone. He's living in that mansion. I'm sure he's got, you know, assistants and people that come and go in his life, help him with his social media and his video content that he occasionally puts out. But, you know, he is a, he is not the same guy um, that we thought. What did, I mean, if you think about David Lee Roth and the image that he portrayed with all the women and all the, um, you know, the shenanigans that she assumed went on behind the scenes. I mean, you know, Eddie Van Halen got married. Eddie Van Halen had a son. Eddie Van Halen has someone right now carrying on the family legacy, playing music, uh, being creative, writing songs, singing. Um, David Lee Roth has no legacy to leave behind other than the one that he created on earth, but is long since gone. He never settled down. He never, you know, look, I kind of equate it in life. You know, we're all at the party of life. We are all invited to the party of life. But the party of life and the real life are two different things. And at some point before its last call, you need to grab a hand and say, come with me. Come with me. Let's create something. Let's create real life. The party still goes on. But if you stay too long, you run the risk of security turning on the lights and saying everybody out. And then you're walking out into the real world and there's nothing for you. There's no one left. There's no hand that you can reach out to and say, come with me. Let's ride the night and see what happens. Now, no doubt that David Lee Roth put that hand out many times in life and, um, you know, said, come on, let's ride the night. And I would hear stories. I had friends that, uh, you know, this one guy, Jorge, and he had um, dated some girl, you know, a very attractive girl. And she said uh, she had dated David Lee Roth and she, he had said that he had so much that in the morning he would just grab the hotel sheets and just, and just blow his nose all out into the sheet. And uh, that's a very real possibility, whether it's, it actually happened or not. I mean, it's all hearsay, but we now see, you know, David Lee Roth posting these <laughs> strange videos, you know, dancing around in his mansion. And Dave has his, you know, unusual quirks and unusual characteristics, just like I did. Uh, me with the towel on the pillow and sleeping on the edge of the bed because I'm so used to feeling that I'm about to fall off the bed feeling in that, in that tour bunk. But now Dave, he has no legacy. He has no family. 
he has his music. And I know, look, I know a lot of you out there might be in that situation. It's never too late to find someone. It's never too late to you reach out and say, hey, you know, we're both older. Um, let's, let's, let's share. Let's share the back half, the back nine. Let's share the back nine together. So I would, I would encourage you if you're getting on up there in age and um, you're still beating it up in the clubs, let's say you're 40 and you're beating it up in the clubs, but you're single because of your musician lifestyle, man, start thinking seriously about, you know, starting a little small family like I did or finding someone that you can share your life with. It's a lonely, lonely business being a musician. And yeah, there's, um, you know, fleeting glimpses of, um, you know, romance and, um, you know, excitement, but most don't stick around to see the final act. Most don't stick around to see your last set. And you've got to try and find someone. I know it's, I know it's hard. I know it is. I know because I lived it. It's hard to find someone through the tough times. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be there when you're the touring guitar player and you're on stage. You know, when you're out there touring or even just being a bar star, you know, girls see you up on stage and they and you're you're displaying your talent and you're peacocking for the whole room, the whole theater, the whole arena to see. Your 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 feathers are all out and they're colorful and um that's an attractive thing and um people find that attractive. But the reality is a lot different than the fantasy. The reality is a lot different than the fantasy. And uh, it's not easy. It's not easy when your parents are getting old and mine, mine are getting less and less able to remember things and harder and harder for them to get around. And I just have to accept it. I have to accept that I am also getting older and it's harder for me to remember things and do things. And as technology speeds past us and it is speeding past us, it gets harder and harder to do simple things like pay bills. When you've got to jump through two or three hoops through some app and, a pa and two or three passcodes and all this other nonsense just to pay your electric bill. And the world is passing us by. But the reality and the fantasy are two different things. And people like David Lee Roth, who perpetuated the fantasy and made it so appealing and made it look like, man, I want to be that guy. Look at that. Look at those models. Look at those. He's surrounded by girls. Look, you can just see the pictures of Dave and he's, you know, and he's surrounded by women. And you think, man, I envy that guy. But now I see him. I see him with a brave smile on his face. But I know inside that clown are tears and sadness and quiet and solitude. So while he's dancing around in that mansion and, uh, you know, cranking up the tunes and here it's Diamond Dave and he's still putting on that fantasy. But the reality is he's eating his meals alone. When the camera turns off and the interns leave and the assistants leave, and the gardeners out front have done their job and it's one o'clock in the morning and maybe he wonders where he is or maybe he slips and falls. There's not gonna be anyone 
there to help. And that, my friend, is reality.